bless you with body, oh baby, oh. Star boy go bless you with money, oh my girl. Hey, let you marry, bless you with body, oh baby. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're here with another video testing new e.l.f. Um, face products as far as moisturizer, primers, eyeshadows. So I'm gonna try to use all e.l.f. products. So we'll see how that goes. So let's get started. I've already did my eyebrows. I need to moisturize my face. And I brought the Happy Hydration Cream from e.l.f. Hemp-derived cannabis stativa nourishing face cream. I've tried it. I'm not going to sit here and act like I haven't tried it already. I've tried it. And it's good. And the thing is, I have combo skin. So when something says hydration, I usually, you know, stay away from it. But I said, well, I'll give this a try. And I like it. It feels so smooth on the skin. It feels really, really hydrating on the skin. And while that is settling in my face, I'm going to do my eyeshadow. I brought the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. I brought two of them and the shades I brought were cream and rose. So this is cream and it's kind of like a pale off-white shade and this is rose. Which is kind of like a pale kind of pinkish shade but today I think I'm going to use cream and just take it on a brush and base my eye with it it's not I saw some reviews that say that it was drying but to me it's not drying it's really pigmented Of course, I brought some of the $3 mini palettes from e.l.f. and Bad Berry, Rose Water, Cream and Sugar, and truffles. So today I think I wanna go for a smoky paint look. So the two that I'm going, to, well, who knows, I'll probably use three. I'm gonna use rose water, bad berry, and cream sugar. So this is bad berry. And I'm going to take this matte kind of plummy shade right here and put that in my crease. The base is, when you apply the shadows, it's easy to blend over the base. It's not like it's hard to blend or anything. The shadows are really, really pigmented. I think I'm gonna put this in my outer V also. Just gonna pack it on there. I'm just gonna take a clean blending brush and blend out those edges. Now I'm gonna take the same um, paint pot. I say paint pot, 
putty primer. I'm going to take the same putty primer and put some more on my lid. Not necessarily cutting a crease or anything. Shoot, I was able to do that better than I was when I used concealer. Okay. Now I want to take this pinky glittery shade and put that in. I think I'm just gonna use this detail brush so I won't go overboard. going to take a detail brush go back into that matte red shade from the rose water shade I want to take this light kind of glittery shade pink and put that in my tear duct. Only cause I like, I prefer a deeper crease. I'm gonna, in the rose water palette, take this dark, and it's almost like a dark glittery purple, purple brown shade. And I'm gonna take that and put that in my outer crease. Pack just a little bit on there. Only because I like some depth to this. Okay. I'm going to go in with the matte reddish shade just in case I lost some color while blending and just lightly so that was one two three four shadows I used four shadows which one probably doesn't count because that was in my teared up so four shadows on this eye look simple eye look three dollar palettes can't beat it let me do the other eye and I'll be right back guys okay guys I'm back and I have completed the other eye off camera next step I'm going to prime my face and I purchased the puff puff primer same as the moisturizer skin types is for normal dry and combination so anybody can use this primer and it comes with a pump. So, that much on my hand. And this, it has a really creamy consistency. It's thick. Only because I've used the MAC Pink Pot in my last line, so I'm gonna try this and see if this helps as far as creasing. Because they're supposed to be the similar. Oh my gosh. I don't know. For foundation, I had the Flawless Finish Foundation by e.l.f. And I have it in spice. This is a thick one. And I don't think the foundation is new. It's not that foundation.
Next, I'm going to use the 16 hour camel concealer and I have that in shade deep cinnamon. And I kind of feel like this is a little too orangey for me, but we're going to try it. And this is the only color I have. So if I have to lighten it up, I'll have to use a different. Yeah, this is too orange for me. So I'm just going to put a tad bit of the Milani concealer. And I'll take a brush and blend it in. Take your foundation brush and go around the edges. It is an e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder and I have one in medium deep. So I'm gonna use that to set my conceal areas. See how that works. Let me find out that I have a new makeup routine using e.l.f. So, I don't know if this is new, but I have Beautiful Bear Finishing Powder in Dark Deep. I was just on the e.l.f. website one day last week, and I said, well, let me try some new e.l.f. products. They had a coupon or something, so I did. Just pat it in. Yeah. So next I have the same finishing powder, but this one is in dark deep. So I'm going to use that to see if I can contour Next, I have some e.l.f. blush in Always Spicy. And it's kind of like a mauve color. Let me change and we're going to be right back with the lips. You guys know the drill. Be right back. Okay, so of course I forgot to turn back on the microphone. So I'm using my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner to line my lips. And I'm going to use some e.l.f. Clear Gloss um, just for the center of my lips. That was on the only e.l.f. product that I had. And it made the look simple and nice. So it was an easy look. And to set my face, I'll use my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And I am talking about how good the eyeshadows were for only $3. They're very pigmented. I really enjoy using them. They were very easy to blend and very beginner friendly. So as always, I thank you all for watching my video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.